in the beginning was the word, and the word was with was with power, and the word was power. The same was in the beginning with power. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. I want to start off by giving our praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Rock Kadesh, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth. Alright, do a lesson. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah made all things. Alright, let's start off with Psalms, the 33rd chapter. The sixth verse. By the word of by the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. Alright? So it say, you know, the Lord made everything. You know, right? And uh one of the things I believe that get people confused is that um Yahweh made everything through his son. Yahweh Shah, you know what I mean? So Yahweh Shah created the world, but Yahweh created Yahweh Shah. Uh -huh. and that, that is how it go. That's the order, you know. I always bring out the order, you know, from in Caribbeans, but that's it. All right? All right? Genesis chapter 1, and um, I'm going to do read. Let's see, read a little bit. See how far I'm gonna go. All right. In the beginning was powers created the heaven and the earth. All right. It say in the beginning was God, but that word should be in the beginning was God's. All right. Because the other hundred in the earth was without form, in void, in darkness. From in darkness was upon the face. Of the deep in the spirit of you know, the spirit of powers moves upon the face of the waters, and the power said, "Let there be light," and there was light, and the power said, "Let that," and said, "Saw that, that that it was good," and and the powers divided the light from the darkness, and the powers called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And in the evening and in the morning were the first day. Alright. So that's what's the Lord creating uh, the first day. And you know, you separate everything. Alright. And if you go down through the rest of the chapter, you know, it breaks down, you know, the earth and the forming and the lights and um, the water and the land and all it and creating the creatures. And you know, it took the, um, the gods. Um, Six days to make the earth, and you know they resting on the seven. All right. Now let's go to All right, and then do um. This Colossians. All right, this is uh, Colossians, first chapter, fifteen to seventeen verse. Who is the image of the invisible and the invisible God, the firstborn of every creation? For by Him were all things created that are in the heaven and that are in the earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones. Or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him, and he is before all things, and by him all things consist. And you know, that's why Yahweh Shah say he is the Alpha and the Omega, you know, the beginning and the end. You know, he he's before all things and by him all things exist. And Yahweh is to you know the ancients of days, he has no end or no beginning. Alright. And we go to um, Job. The 
38 chapter and I'm gonna start at the fourth verse alright where was thou when I laid the foundations of the earth the courier it if thou has understanding who had laid the measures thereof of through no one's who had stretched the line upon it whereupon are the foundations thereof fastened or who laid the cornerstones thereof when the morning stars sung together and all the sons of Yahweh shouted for joy or who sh shed up the seas with doors when it breaks forth as if it has issue out of the womb when I made the clouds and the garments thereof and the thick darkness a swallowing band for it and break up for it my decree place and set bars and doors All right and he said here thou should thou come but no further and here should thou um, proud ways be stayed has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and has caused the day springs to know his place, that it might take hold of the ends of the earth, that the wicked might be shed out of it? It is turned as clay to the sea, and that stand as a garment. And from the wicked their light is withhold, and the high arms shall be broken. Has thou entered into the springs of the sea, or has thou walked? In search of the depth, have the gates of the dead been opened unto thee? Has thou seen the doors of the shadow of death? Has thou appeared? Has thou preceded the breed of the earth, the current it knowing it at all? And you know, that's like the um, the ends of the earth is what that was referring to. All right, and um. You know, he created all things, and then you get um, still dealing with the foundation created. Psalms 104, and I'm going to read verses 3 and 5. Who laid the beams of his chambers in the waters? Who made the clouds his chariot? Who walked upon the wings of the wind? Who made his angels the spirits, his ministers a flaming fire? Who laid the foundations of the earth that it should not be removed for you And this is what um Yahweh Shah did. And you know, Yahweh did it through his son, Yahweh Shah. And he created the foundations of the earth. Alright, and we know if you go to um second Israel's Sixth chapter, I believe. All right. You know, it gives you a, a more detail. Um, it gives you a little more detail about what it was talking about in Genesis, the first chapter. All right. The 38th verse. And I said, O Lord, thou speakest from the beginning. Of the creation, even the first day, and says thus: Let heaven and earth be made, and thy works was as perfect. So it's then us know that he spoke it, he made it, and his works were as perfect. And then was the spirit in darkness, and silence were on every side, and the sound of man's voice was not yet formed. Then commanded thou a fair light to come forth of thy treasures that. Thy works might appear. Alright. So this was talking about how what the Lord did, you know, when he created the earth in the first day. And if you read on down, it goes through all the rest of the days to the rest of second Israel. Alright. So so in the so we know that the powers created the heaven and earth. Alright. Yeah. 
And one more verse about Yahweh Shah creating all things. This is Ephesians third chapter. Alright. Um Ephesians third chapter ninth verse. And to make all men see what is the fellowship of the misery which is from the beginning of the world had hid in Yahweh who created all things by Yahweh shot. So this verse right here lets you know that Yahweh created all things by his son Yahweh shot. Alright? Ephesians third chapter ninth verse read one more time. And to make all men see what is the fellowship of the of the misery which from the beginning of the world had been hid in Yahweh, who created all things by Yahweh Shah. Alright? So, all things were created by Yahweh Shah. Alright? And we're going to stay in Ephesians and go to the chapter 1. I'm going to read verse 3 through 5. Blessed be, blessed be. The blessed be Yahweh and Father of our Lord Yahweh Shah, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in in Amashiach, according as He has chosen us in Him before the foundations of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before Him in love. Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shah Mashiach to himself according to the good pleasures of his will. So this is right here is letting you know that um when Yahweh Shah created the earth, you know, he, he had his chosen and you know they was with him when he created the earth. Alright? And who was with him? Let's go to um, Revelations, the seventh chapter, and I'm gonna read um, the third and the fourth verse. Saying, "Hear not the earth, neither the sea, neither the trees, till we have sealed the servants of Yahweh in their foreheads." And I heard the number of them which were sealed. And there were sealed in hundred and forty four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. So the um, sons of God is the hundred and forty four thousand who the Lord is gonna save in the last days and they're gonna hear your house's words. Alright, and one of the ways we're gonna know you'll know who the hundred and forty four thousand is is um John go back to John. See, 17th chapter. All right, John 17th chapter. Let's see what verse it is. I'm read the 8th to 10th verse. All right. For I have given unto them the words which thou hast given me. That I have received them and have known surely that I have come from from thee, and that I have believed that thou didn't did send me. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for thou for they are mine, and all mines are thy, and thou are mine, and I am glorified in them. So pretty much, you know. Yahweh Shah said he came for his elect, and that's who he for. And his elect are the people that hear his words and understand it. And it also says, when you skip down to the 14th verse, I have given them thy word, 
and the world has hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Alright, so pretty much this is letting you know that the elect of Yahushua will be hated in this world. Alright. I pray not that they should be taken out of the world, but they should should be keep should be kept them you know, from the evil. Alright. So how I said that you know that we gonna be in the world, but he's praying that we be kept from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth, thy word is true. So you know, this is why the Lord's people don't seem to fit in with his word and seem to be hated by just about everyone in the world because we are not of the word. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so I also send them into the world. And for their sakes I sanctify myself that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for those alone, but for them also which should believe on me through thy words. Alright, because everybody that's you know, believing, you know, that truly believe and understand and accept these scriptures, most likely are going to be part of the elect. Alright, because um, it's some in people's spirit where people that are not of the elect just can't accept it, you know. Alright. So let me get June. Alright. Jude. Ain't but one chapter in Jude, so. And uh Jude, and I'm gonna read the sixth verse. Alright. In the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own inhabitation. He had reserved in everlasting chains under darkness until the judgment of the great day. Alright, so just letting you know that it was angels that left their first estate. Alright. So who are these angels, alright? Let's go to um, Genesis. The sixth chapter. And I'm going to start at the top. Read to the fourth. All right. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of Yahweh saw that the daughters of men, that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. So pretty much for saying that the sons of Yahweh seen that the uh, the women on the earth were good looking, alright? And the Lord said, My spirit should not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh. Yet his days should be an hundred and twenty years, alright? There were giants in the earth in those days, which means great man. And also after that, when the sons of Yahweh came, in unto the daughters of men, and they were bare children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old men of renown. So that was telling you um that was when the sons of God uh or the angels left their first estates, you know, it became the sons of God. All right? And now with Psalms You know, just to reiterate this, Psalms 82. All right. All right, Psalms 82, verse 6 to 8. I have said, ye are, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. But ye should die like men. And fall like one of the princes. Arise, O power, and judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit our nations. So this is no this Psalms is letting you know that you know that once the elect were gods or were angels and they fell. And the word gods just mean power, you know. And they fell from their first estate. 
Đấy. And um, with it, you know, I hope that was edifying and that it made sense. That you know that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah created the world, you know, and Yahweh created the world through His Son Yahweh Shah, because Yahweh created Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah created the world along with the hundred and forty-four thousand, all right. And they see in um get one one more verse off the good Genesis I in um I believe that um Yahweh you know the singular word for God wasn't used until the third um chapter of Genesis I believe chapter one and chapter two. When you see the word God, it was uh, for powers or whatever. Could be wrong. You know, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But I believe that the singular word is not used to like chapter 3. Or uh, it might be halfway through chapter 2. But, but um, all of chapter 1 was the plural word. So when you read Genesis, the 26th um, verse, first chapter 26 verse, and... The powers say, let us, and then, you know, that key word is us. Let us make man in our image after our likenesses, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowls of the earth and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping things that creep upon the earth. All right? So the powers created man in his image. In the image of power, he created him. Male and female created he them. All right. So with that, you know, hope that made sense. Hope that was edifying. And with that, I'm gonna say, Shalom.